If you started running straight up at an average pace, it would take 48 minutes to reach a point where there's no more air to breathe. At one hour, you'd be at the altitude where commercial planes fly, high but still not space. If you keep running, after eight hours you'd reach the boundary NASA considers space, though it's not the only definition. At 10 hours, you'd reach the Karman line, where most degree space officially begins. Just 30 minutes later, you'd be at the altitude Blue Origin reaches with its space flights. If you don't stop, by 16 hours you'd hit the altitude of the lowest satellites orbiting Earth. At 40 hours, you'd arrive at the International Space Station. Keep going, and by 55 hours, you'd pass the average Starlink satellite. But the most distant satellites orbit much farther. To reach them, you'd need to run non-stop for 3,500 hours, about 146 days. That's how far we've gone, and space keeps going.